gonna take to become a millionaire first we have to because i'm not gonna lie to y'all like you can become a millionaire of a lot of different things you can become a millionaire from a lot of different things matter of fact there's ample different things you can become a millionaire from somebody said um it's glitchy y'all let me know is it glitchy in here is it glitchy in here i don't know if it's glitchy in here y'all let me know <clears throat> if it's not then cool we ready to go okay so let's go ahead and pull out my notebook real quick so i can actually give y'all a visual representation of everything that i'm talking about right now let me go ahead and give y'all a visual representation um boom 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 we down here y'all know when i get the notebook out is 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 it's over when i get the notebook out it is over okay when i get the notebook out it's over Connection, bro. It keeps saying I got poor connection. It keeps saying I got the McDonald's Wi-Fi when I know I don't have the McDonald's Wi-Fi. Can y'all hear me right? Can y'all hear me? I want to make sure everybody can hear me. Drop a one in the chat real quick if you can hear me. Drop a one in the chat real quick if you can hear me. Can everybody hear me? Yep. Okay, sweet. All right. All right. So, before I even get started, right? Before I get started, I like to get y'all in the right mindset first. So, let's all collectively, let's all collectively get into the mindset. All right, here's how we get into the mindset. First, before we can even think about making money, because money is just a mentality game. That's all money is. It's a mental game. So we got to get into the right mentality, right? And here's the mentality that I like to get into. In order to become wealthy, you can no longer view 100K as a yearly salary. Dismantle that belief system. It's either $100,000 a month, $100,000 a week, $100,000 a day. So let's get into the mentality real quick. And of course, seeing is believing. So drop your one in. The chat real quick is it a hundred thousand dollars a month is it a hundred thousand dollars a week or is it a hundred thousand dollars a day y'all let me know in the chat which one is it which one is it is a hundred thousand dollars a month a hundred thousand dollars a week or a hundred thousand dollars a day i want us all to collectively get into the mindset of becoming wealthy and becoming successful okay and once we can get into the mindset then we can actually start worrying about how we're gonna reach it Somebody said 100000 a week. And the thing about it is that we, all, we also got to be realistic with ourselves, too. I like it how somebody said that because it's true. We definitely have to be realistic with ourselves. Okay? okay? I've seen a lot of people saying different things. So that is amazing. Now that we are in the mindset, we can actually get started on how to reach these types of numbers. Okay, now real quick, if you're new to my channel, I said channel, if you're new to my page, I'm acting like I'm on YouTube. If you're new to my page, just go ahead and drop new. And if you're family, go ahead and drop family. If you've been with me for over two months or a month, drop family. If you're new, drop new. All right, how to make $100,000 a month, which is basically a million dollars a year. Well, a million dollars a year is actually $83,000 a month. But we're just going to say $100,000 a month. All right, so let's go ahead and break it down real quick. As y'all can see to the side. We got um, the speaker. This is our reference, okay? I see a lot of new people. I see a lot of family. That's what's up. If you're new, now you family, okay? So if you're new, next time I ask you that question, you're going to say family, all right? That's what's up. That's what's up. Let's go. All right, so here's what we do. If you're new, this is what I love, right? If you're new, you already know. If you're family, tell them what to do. Get a notebook out because anytime I got my notebook out, it's rare that I have my notebook out, but when I do have my notebook out, gems will be dropped and game will be spilled all right so here we go right here um here's what we do so we have a wholesale product then you have you and then you have the retail okay our goal is to get this product right here for wholesale price you are the middleman one thing i have learned about business and this is what i've learned about every single type of business but the middleman always gets paid the most i've done wholesale real estate i've done vending machines 
I've done every type of business you can think of. Okay? Somebody said, I've been with you since the ATM side hustle. Look, even with the ATM side hustle, I've done, the middleman always gets paid the most, even with ATM businesses. One thing I've learned, and the reason why I love this business module so much is because in this, in this sense, you literally get paid the most. So I want y'all to start thinking as a middleman, okay? You always want to broker the deal. That's it. In real estate, broker the deal. Wholesale real estate, you can make some of the most amount of money you've ever seen in your entire life. Simply by brokering a deal, you never owned the property, you never touched the property, you never saw the property. All you did was sign a contract, assign that contract to the buyer, I mean, to the seller, and then you get paid an assignment fee, which is your percent of the deal. It's kind of the exact same with e-commerce. You always want to be the middleman, okay? The middleman gets paid the most in every scenario, okay? So here we are as the middleman, and then we are going to be selling it for retail, so as we guys can see over here, here's how much I was selling it for. I was selling it for $14.99, I mean, I mean $49.99. Okay, so I was getting the speaker for wholesale price, which is 12 bucks, low product cost, and I'm selling it for $14.99. All right, my profit margin is $39 per unit. That's net profit. Okay, that is net profit. Y'all gotta learn the difference between gross and net. A lot of people say, Hans, I see you're making all this money, but what's your net? For those who always ask me that question, I just want to let you know my net is between 60 to 80 percent on every single store or every single product I buy or use. My net is always 60 to 80 percent every single time. OK, I don't net anything lower than 60 percent. I used to, but I don't anymore. Now, before we get into any types of marketing or anything like that, let's figure out exactly how much we're going to have to sell in order to see our return on investment, all right? So first, we have to realize exactly what we are doing. We go based off a ROA system. So let me go ahead and put this in perspective for a lot of you new cats in there out here who don't really know exactly what e-commerce is. Let me go ahead and put it in perspective for you, for you new guys. Let me go ahead and grab some cash because I know a lot of people like seeing things and some, some people are visual learners and I understand that because I'm also a visual learner too. So... Let's go ahead and grab some money. We had, we'll go ahead and grab 10,000. We got $10,000 in cash. We can grab 200K, but no, we're just gonna stick with the 10. We're just gonna stick with the 10. We got $10,000 in cash. I don't know why people be thinking my money's fake. I think it's because I have so much cash. A lot of people think some of my cash is fake, bro. I'll never carry fake cash ever. I'm not one of those guys. There's no, there's absolutely no point. If I show you a million dollars in cash, believe me, that entire million dollars is real money. I'm not that guy who's going to go out of my way and order fake money, bro. That doesn't make any sense to me. All right. So we go based off of a row of a row of um, a row of system. OK, so let's just say we have ten thousand dollars. OK, we got ten bands. All right. We got ten bands. We got ten bands. I a row of means return on ad spend. All right. So typically. In a ROA system, we see about a, about a three to six asset row. So that means that I want you to think of it like a money printer. If I put this $10,000 into a money printer and I have a three ROA system going on right now, that means I get three, turn, three times my money back. So I get $30,000 back. So from this $10,000, I would be making $30,000 back. That would be my ROA. Okay, that would be my return on ad spend if I have a three ROA. In February of 2022, I had my highest ROA, which was 17. We were seeing 17 times our money back. So when we put $10,000 in, we got back $170,000. Okay. That is how we go. That's how we do things. Okay. So that's how things work when you're working with ads. And then of course you have stuff like spark ads. I'll be getting into Spark ads later, but Spark ad essentially is if I have something that's going viral on the algorithm and I put money into a Spark ad, the algorithm mixes with the organic and then it creates a spark in the algorithm and then it basically increases sales by about 15 to 30%. There's a lot of different ways in, in regards to marketing to make money, but let's get back into the main logistics of everything, which is right here. Okay, so here's the six, here's the six figure blueprint. <clears throat> All right, so we have... 39 times uh, times 39 times 10. So what happens if we just sell 10? Okay, we make $120,000 a year. It's not enough. I already said 
hundred thousand dollars. Hundred thousand dollars is not enough. It's not enough. Okay, what about if we do? We have fifteen. Okay, thirty-nine times fifteen. Now we have five hundred and eighty-five dollars a day, which is two hundred and thirteen thousand dollars a year. It's not enough. We need more. Okay, what about if we sell twenty? It's seven hundred and eighty dollars a day and almost three hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay, now real quick. Drop a fire, be 100% honest with yourselves. I want to do a real poll here. Drop a fire emoji in the chat if you make over $300,000 a year, okay? <clears throat> Statistically speaking, not more than two people should be dropping a fire emoji in this chat right now, okay? Because I know damn well not more than 95% uh, of people in here make more than $300,000 a year, but this is how we do it. Now, selling 20 is bare minimum for me, okay? When I was running this product, I was selling at minimum. 75 of them. All right, I was selling 75 of those a day at minimum. Okay, somebody dropped a teardrop. I was selling 75 of those a day on minimum. Okay, now what we have here is we have a newsletter. I'm gonna be talking about the newsletter a little bit later on, but um, it popped up for y'all. So this is a newsletter and I'll be getting into exactly how we utilize use newsletters and such like that a little bit later. All right, but now we gotta know exactly how we're gonna be able to grow sales. All right, so we have organic, we have affiliate, we have SparkCat, we have no interest scaling. Now, like I said before, there are a million ways to make money with e-com. A lot of people say, think e-com, when they think e-com, they think about drop shipping, they think about this, they think about that. E-com is just the general selling products online. Drop shipping is its own specific niche in e-com, just like Amazon is its own specific niche. The reason why I don't willy-nilly spend $10,000, even if I showed y'all, I just showed y'all $250,000 in cash, right? The reason why you'll never see me really spend money willy-nilly is because I know exactly what this $10,000 can do for me. I know that if I have a four to six row of set, I can turn this $10,000 into $70,000. And that's how I think about everything. Matter of fact, I was just on the, I was just on the, uh, on the phone with my boy yesterday. And my boy, right, he only flies private. He only flies private. And I get it. I understand. I fly, I fly private a lot of the times, right? But he only flies private. And every single flight, he's spending like 20 to 30 bands per flight. And this is just to go from here, like a three-hour flight. He's spending fifteen to $20,000. And we're having this conversation. And we're like, and, we're, and, I'm like, I'm like, and he's just like, bro, you need, to own, you, need to, you need to start only flying private. And I'm like, bro, I, I understand why you fly private, right? Because you own a jet business. But for me, I'm in, in a meeting right now. Can I call you back? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So he, he only flies private. And he's like, bro, you need to start flying private too. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just like, you know what? Here's the thing, right? I know exactly. Can y'all hear me? It's because I got a, I got a phone call. Can y'all hear me? Drop a one in the chat if you can hear me. Drop a one in the chat if you can hear me. Can y'all hear me? I got a call. Drop a one in the chat. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. So he's like, you need to only start flying private. And I'm just like, listen, bro. I understand, right? You own a jet business. It's more beneficial for you to fly private than not. But here's the thing. I know exactly what I can do with 10 bands, right? So here's the thing, right? I know exactly what I can do with 10 bands. I was on live the other day and I was using this as a reference, right? Majority of people don't know the power of 10 bands. So that's the reason why they can go to the club. You know, they go to the club just, you know, they, they go to the club, they got the little CEO chain on, they got the little CEO chain on, they just they just dropped $5,000 on a section, they got the little CEO chain on that they, they, that they bought from my dropshipping store, and they sit there, they smoke their little blunt, they smoke their little, and then the sign comes out, they got the sign out, and then the sign says, bullshit only, bullshit only. And you just dropped $5,000 on a sign, Right, and it's the same thing with me. I'm just like, I know what I can do with five thousand dollars. I wouldn't do it. I know that I can turn five thousand dollars into fifty thousand dollars in a month. I know I can do that. I know exactly how to do it. I do it every single week. So why would I, you know, spend five thousand dollars to sit with the little with the little full CEO chain on? Right, you got the full CEO chain. You got for one twenty. And you know what's crazy? 
the crazy part about it is I done showed y'all this already, right? Look, check this out. Check. Y'all think I'm lying. Y'all think I'm lying about this stuff, right? Here's one of my dropshipping stories. As y'all can see, this was my Black Friday dropshipping story. It says navigate to the domain. This is my page right here. Look. Got the little C. Look, fast money chains, 140. I got them. I got them for you. Look, the little goat chains. You know, you I know you know somebody with this little goat chain. I got them for you, bro. 140. Get them off of me. I this drop shipping store is $75,000 in a month in Black Friday. All right. So you got the little fast money chain on you in this section. All right. You got the fast money chain on, you got the you got the uh you got the sign come out that, that probably says the same thing as bullshit only, bullshit only. You got the sign coming up, yeah, bullshit only. You got the little CEO. But then when you go home, when you go home, you go into your mom's house, to the basement, to wherever you're going. You're not, you're not going to, you're not going to the lamb, right? You're not going to the penthouse. You're not going to the mansion. You spend all this money to impress people for a night who really don't care. Ten bands. Let me show y'all what you can do with ten bands, Rookie. Because a lot of people say, Ancho, well, okay, well, show me what I can do with ten bands. Let me show you exactly. This is the reason why I don't waste money. Here's why I don't waste money. All right? Because I know that if I put $10,000 into this system right here, then I get $100,000 back. We can go the organic route. We can go the affiliate marketing route. We can go spark ads. We can go no interest scaling. All right? Now, a lot of the times when people ask me, well, Ancho, what, what exact route should I take? I'm like, bro, there's so many different routes you can take. Just don't be the guy who goes into the club with $5,000 in his, in, his, in his pocket, spends the whole $5,000, you got the food here and you got the stuff. Don't be that guy. Be anybody else but that guy. Use this system. We do four to six vids a day relying on the algorithm. Here's how we go the organic route. All right? Here's how we go the organic route. We have four to six vids per day relying on the algorithm. What is this going to do? Is gonna build our credibility on the algorithm. But before you do that, here's what you do. Here's what you do before you even do that. You may have to make sure you have 20 videos in your drafts because TikTok does not push new accounts. They only push accounts who have content already on their page or going to the page. So make sure you have 20 videos in, this, in the draft. Now, a lot of people say, Hancho, I can't create all that content. Right, so I'm gonna give y'all a crazy gem right here. I'm gonna just drop gems on y'all all day today. Look, do this. Here's what we do. Go here. Right? Matter of fact, this is what we do. I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you all the entire sauce today. I'm going to give you all the entire sauce. He said, somebody said, you're making fun of people who buy from you. I'm guessing you're one of those people with the CEO chains on, bro. Take it off, bro. Take it off. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, bro. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go to videos. Why isn't it let me click on the video? All right, hold on, y'all. Let me go to the actual URL. Here's what we're going. I'm going to give y'all the sauce. I'm going to give y'all the sauce so that y'all don't end up like that. All right, so here's what we do. We go here. Let's just say we, just an example, right? We go here. We go copy link. Now we've copied the link. We go here. Oh, no, wait. Nope, we don't go there. We go here. Oh, nope, we don't go there either. We go here. We go here. Go here. Look, look, look how fast it's going to happen. Look how fast I'm going to do it. Boom. You go there. You go download MP4. Hit close, hit download. It's gonna pop up right here. It's downloading. It takes five seconds to download. Boom. Imagine if you do that four times. Imagine if you do that four times a day. It took me 20 seconds, 10 seconds. He said, how, how you change it a little to not get copyright, but you don't get copyright on TikTok. This guy talking about copywriting, bro. <laughs> Come on, dude. It's a TikTok video. You know, do that four times a day, five times a day. You know what's crazy? You know, one time, one time, right, I made this video with the gel blaster. Matter of fact, I got the gel blaster in my living room and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the exact video that I made 
And I'm gonna tell y'all how somebody made a million dollars off of my creative. I'm gonna show y'all how somebody made a million dollars and I know he made a million dollars because I tracked his website. I, I funnel hacked his website and I seen he, he made a million dollars. All right, so we got the slushy cup over here. But look, so I made a video on my balcony with the, with the gel blast. I'm like, oh, I'm over here like boom, 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 boom. You know, I made the video with the gel blast. I'm like, this gonna go crazy. I posted it on the page and it went crazy. It got 200,000 views, right? It got 200,000 views. It got 200,000 views and around 19,000 likes. Three days later, I go on TikTok and I see this video on my For You page. I'm like, hold up, why am I seeing my own video on my For Why am I seeing my own video on my For You page? I go on the page, it's not my page. It's somebody else's page. He took my creative and it had two million likes, not views, two million likes, bro. <laughs> two million likes. 19 million views, 2 million likes. Dude made a million dollars off of my product. And you know what's crazy? I'm over here sitting here. I'm like, I just, I watched the video like 10 times. I was like, what the? But you know what's crazy? I wasn't even mad at him. I wasn't even mad at him because I do the exact same thing. Right? I do the exact same thing, so I can't even be mad at him. So I'm just like, damn, you know, this is the aim of the game, but you have to know how to do it. You have to know how to do it. And this is what I do, right? In my Discord, my new community that I'm building, I'm gonna be dropping endless creatives in there. I'm gonna be dropping products. I'm gonna be dropping creatives. I'm gonna be dropping where you're gonna get the creatives. I'm gonna be getting where you're gonna be able to get the products all in my community down below. So make sure you DM me the word VIP. I only got 100 spots in there. But we're gonna go crazy in it. But anyway, notice in the chat, somebody says, guppies eating, right? A lot of y'all know I created this called sharks and guppies. In e-commerce, there's two types of people, right? You have the sharks and then you have the guppies. The sharks are people who come out with the product. So you created the product, you put it on the platform, you're eating, right? You're a shark. For example, I'm gonna show you an example of a product that I was a shark and I'm gonna show you an example of a product that I was a guppy, right? So Pocket Amp, Pocket Amp, I was a, I was a shark. I was the first person on the platform with this product, right? This one right here, I was the first person on the platform with the with the with the uh, with the with the pocket amp, and that's the reason why I was able to do so well with this product. Matter of fact, this product almost did a milli in a month. Yo, what's going on, my boy Vic? Almost did a milli in a month. That's the reason why it did so well, right? I was a shark. Now, mind you, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys right here. Look. These products have a two to four month shelf life period. So you literally have two to four months to make as much money as possible from these products. This product, I was a shark. The gel blaster, I was a guppy. I did $300,000 from the gel blaster. $300,000 is not bad money. Drop a, drop a fire emoji in the chat if you could use an extra $300,000 because it's not bad money. But notice the difference. You can do a million dollars in a month by being a shark and you can do 300,000 by being a guppy. These are two different types of levels right here. All right, these are two different types of levels. Not DM me the word VIP, don't, don't drop it in the chat. DM me the word VIP. DM it to me. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get somebody in my DMs. I'm gonna get somebody in my DMs to uh, respond to everybody in, these, in the comments. All right. Uh, give me a second. All right, so let's go back to the blueprint. Let's get back to the blueprint. Let's get back to the blueprint. All right. Here, <laughs> we got spark ads and no interest scaling. Y'all gotta make sure you have out your notepads. Make sure you have out some sort of a notepad, right? We have spark ads and no interest scaling, right? So let people ask me, well, Hancho, What's the best way to make money? What's the best way to really make money, right? Or when I start making money, what's the best way to continue to scale? Or what's the best way to actually run ads? The problem is, is that when a lot of people, you get into e-com and you get in there and you put all of your money into one ad sale. You put all of your money into these one creatives or whatever the case may be. Here's the thing. 
when you get into e-com, you don't know exactly who your target audience is, right? So what I do first is before I even start running any types of ads, I do no interest broad scaling. And here's what it is. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to tell you all this quick story, right? This is my first product. Everything that I tell you all, the reason why I teach it is because I've, I've, I've failed in it. All right? You can't teach something that you haven't failed in before. Whatever you do, I can't teach something that I've never done before. Right? So the reason why I do no interest broad scaling now is because my first product was a complete failure. There were these sticky balls. Right? And what you do is that these sticky balls, you throw them up on the ceiling. Right? You throw these sticky balls up on the ceiling. You wait for them to come down. You throw them up on the ceiling. And you wait for them to come down. And they glow in the dark. And you boom, throw them up on the ceiling. You wait for them to come down. Right? And I scaled it up organically. I'm like, oh my gosh, this product did $5,000 in a week and I didn't drop a dime. The entire $5,000 that I had made from the sticky balls plus $2,000, I invested $7,000 into this product and made $1,000 back. Why? Because I was over here trying to choose my, in, my incentives. I was like, okay, this is probably for people in the age groups of 18 to 20 who live on the eastern part of the world, who do this, who do that. So I'm over here trying to pick my creatives. And at the end of the day, I ended up reaching nobody. So what I learned is that if I do no interest broad scaling first, I'll be able to push out multiple creatives. The algorithm will give me back what I need to uh, focus my attention on. And then I'm able to do what we call niche targeting, right? So now I'm able to target specific people in specific demographics to give me back what I want to, who I want to hit. So when I put out 10 creatives, what happens is that I put them out to nobody. I do no interest broad scaling. So I put them out to nobody. Right. And then what happens is that the algorithm will bring you back. OK, this this creative right here targeted 18 to 24 in the eastern part of the world who do this, who do that and do all these different things so that now I can target them. All right. So now that I'm I can target them at, at a specific rate. And then when you do that, you also have to be doing spark ads, too. Right. So what a spark ad is, is that when you have a, an, um, an, uh, a, a video on the algorithm going crazy, for example, right. Perfect example right here. Perfect example. I had this one ad. I mean, I had this one video that had 1.1 million likes, right? Matter of fact, actually, let me go to it right quick. I had this one video that had 1.1 million likes, not, not views. It had 1.1 million likes. And what you do is you put money into that video and it creates a spark in the algorithm. Since your video is already going viral, it creates a spark in the algorithm and it boosts sales about 35 to 60%. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, here it is on my PowerPoint. Okay. All right, so here it is right here. It's on my PowerPoint. So here's the, here's the video. It got 1.3 million likes. I was selling the Galaxy for $43. Of course, you gotta have this next to it. It's like, hey, yeah, get a steal. It was really 147, but you can get it for 43, 70% off this one time only. Sell ending soon. That is what we call a fast action incentive. And then I was getting the product for nine bucks. We sell it for 43. We create a Spark ad. Increases sales. Our profit margins are through the roof. Now, we got it in now y'all see the difference now when I tell you that 10 bands what you can do with 10 instead of being the dude instead of being a dude at the club who when the sign comes out they got the signs ball shit on you with this little CEO chain with the with the blunt who spent you just spent 10 bands on one night instead of spending 10 bands to sit on a couch it ain't even as good as my couch instead of spending 10 bands to sit on a couch Here's how you can turn 10 bands into 100. All right, cuz I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm put y'all on something. I told I told this to y'all the last I told y'all this the last time. Look, I I'm an I own a club. I own 25% of a club. I'm an investor in a club. I know exactly how much money clubs make. We get a bottle for 65 bucks and we sell it for 500. Matter of fact, a bottle of Lobos a bottle of Lobos costs 400. A bottle of Lobos? Casamigos, seven. Casamigos is seven. To sit on a couch? Look, man. And the reason why 
It's because I literally used to go to the club every single weekend because I owned the club. So I seen it. The, when I tell y'all the little dudes with the CEO chains, there's always one guy in the club with that CEO chain on the little small little CEO chain with the rope chain. You got your mans on the couch with you. You don't got no baddies in the section, but y'all just got the signs. Keep coming out. I'm like, that, that sign was two, that, that sign was 2000. You got Ace of Spades coming out. I know you spent 2000. You got 1942 coming out. I know you spent 3000, but what, but you got the little CEO chain on. What has social media done to us, bro? What, 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 what has social media done to us? You spent five bands to record a sign. What has social media done to us? When you can literally take that same five thousand dollars Anyway, let's get back to the game. Let's get back to the game. I I I, I keep swing I keep and then, and then, you know you know what when you go to their page, you know what's in their page? And on their page in the bio says CEO, cause they got the little cause just cause they got the little CEO chain that they got from my dropshipping store for 120 they think you put CEO in the bio. I'm like, bro, take CEO out your bio, bro. You should CEO of what, bro? You CEO of bums? You the CEO of sitting on the couch in the club? You the CEO of wasting your money? Take it out your bio, bro. Take the chain off. Take it out your bio. Let's get, let's let's make some real money. Let's, let's make some real money here. Come on, man. Let, like tap into the tap into the live. Let's make some real money. All right. So how do we actually find potential products? Like how do we find potential products for winning products? How to find potential products? We have organic. Of course, we have TikTok made me buy it, Amazon finds, YouTube product compilation videos, and then we have organic SEO search. I'm about to give y'all the full game real quick, okay? When we go into, uh, let's go into TikTok real quick. Amazon Home Finds is a math robot and it's great for learning to add and subtract. This is an automatic stirring cup and all you have to do is press the button for it to start stirring. This is a wine pump. It goes in your bottle of wine and it makes it easy to pour into a glass or your mouth. This is portable hand soap which come in these cool strips and they dissolve when you put them in water. These are red light stickers and they cover those annoying lights that keep you up. This is a meat shredder. It's great. They got my stuff lagging. What are we back on? I, I gotta go into the living room. It's Cause I'm in I'm in my podcast room. I think that's the reason why. They got my stuff lagging. It's all good. We back on it. <clears throat> Alright, so when you go to TikTok, baby, me buy it. All these different products are gonna show up. This is a self-closing toothpaste pack. And when you squeeze it, the knob closes itself. This is a mass roller, and it's great for learning to One point one million. Because you got 150,000. 2.4 million, 510,000, 563, 188. You can go all day with this, right? When you do it, do it like this. Come here and filter it. Filter it. Last six months. Well, no, no. Well, not last six months. This month. Hit apply. It will give you all the trending products for this month. If you want to do it even more, go by light count, not relevance. Go by light count. So you go here, sort by light count, video category, all date posted this month. It will give you all the trending videos for this month. This month, 1.6 mil. This month, 1.2 mil. This month, 1 mil. All these products that they give you, okay? That's just one way. That's one way we do it. That's one way we can do it. Another way, we go here, we go Amazon Finds. You do the exact same thing, but just do it with Amazon Finds, and you can do it through TikTok compilation videos too. Now, 
a recent way how I've been doing it is that you can also do it with um, TikTok trend discovery, right? Let's go here. Let's go TikTok trend discovery, TikTok trend discovery, boom, go hot, come here. Um, there's two different ways. You can go here, top ads dashboards. This is gonna give you the top ads that are people who are going crazy right now. Come here, go to industry, select your industry, whichever industry or niche you wanna pick. Like count, top one to 20%. Duration of the video, under 10 seconds, last 30 days, and it's gonna give you all the trending creatives for the last 30 days, under 10 seconds. Also, if you come here and you go shop by hashtags, you can do it like this too. Come here, hit search, and then type in hashtag TikTok made me buy it, and then it will also show the top ad creatives for TikTok made me buy it. All right, so when we finally find our product, how do we get our product for a wholesale cost, which is pretty much like the most important thing. So for example, for example, For example, we got the gel blasters. How do we find the gel blaster, which we sell for $40, $50 for a wholesale price or under, under competitor wholesale price, really? Because our goal is to be the lowest price or the lowest target on the market. What we do is we go here. Let's go here first. Let's go Zen. Let's go Zen. All right, we come here. Oops, I'm about to log in real quick. Log in. Find products. Go gel. Blaster. So we're able to find the gel blaster for 12 bucks. And we're able to sell this gel blaster. I was selling mine for $45.95, but you can really sell yours at whatever price or whatever target you have it on. All right. I always say try to see at least uh, 60 to 80% of your money back. All right, now I'm gonna give y'all an example, a perfect example of what 60, what six to eight percent of your money back looks like. Um, here is what that looks like. So your gross income for y'all who don't know what gross is, this is the amount of total revenue you make, okay? So this is your total revenue, and this number right here is my profit. So I made $768,000, and then my profit was $656,000, okay? As you can see right here, $656,000 in successful payments, whilst my revenue is $763,000. The only way you're gonna be able to get those type of margins is if you find a seller or a supplier who's able to sell your product below competitor price or below competitor cost. How do you do that? Is you come here, right? So we showed you Zendrop for this one, but here's how you're able to negotiate with sellers. I feel like if you don't know how to negotiate with sellers, you're pretty fucked. I can go all day, by the way. I'll literally go all day. I mean, I have stores. This store is doing $65,000 in a week. It did $100,000 in 16 days. Let's go to another one. I can go, I can literally go all day. I have eight stores, bro. I can go all day. 
I can go all day. This store did one hundred and seventy thousand dollars in sixteen days. One hundred and seventy thousand dollars. I can go all day. <clears throat> all right. Now, let's go here. How do we do that? CJ drop shipping. Let's go CJ. CJ gel blaster. Where if I come here? Come here. All right. So look, guys. When we go to CJ, we have this section right here that says trending. All right, we have this section right here that says trending. Now, pay very close attention to this, right? Let's just click on this product, for example. This is actually a viral product. Well, it was going viral like at least a month ago, right? We have the seller, which is He Yang Industrial Co. All right, I want y'all to remember that. He Yang Industrial Co., right? Okay, cool. Let's, just, let's check out this product right here, this bottle blender. Bottle blenders are always good. Bottle blender. I, well, let's see who the supplier is. I guarantee you it is He Yang. Look, the supplier is He Yang Industrial Co. Okay, let's try out one more. I, I guarantee, look, this is a very good product. Anti-gravity humidifier. This one is going crazy right now, right? Look, He Yang Industrial Co, right? He Yang Industrial Co. What does that tell you? That majority of the winning products or majority of the trending products are sold by one supplier. Majority of the winning products are sold by one supplier. So if you can get in contact with this one supplier, what else does that mean? That means that you can get every other product below wholesale competitor price. So what I did was this. It wasn't He Yang Industrial Co., but I found somebody like He Yang Industrial Co., and I messaged him and I said, listen bro, I'm, I'm on your page. You have a ton of great products that I want to use. Can you send me your backlist? He sent me his backlist. And then guess how Pocket Amp was born? Right? He sent me his backlist. And what was in his backlist? This right here was in his backlist. So nobody, how I got in this product, so because a lot of people ask me this question, like, because I made, I mean, I made a million dollars in a month from this product. So I would understand why people ask me this question. Yo, how did you find this product? And the, how I found this product is because I messaged a supplier and I asked for his backlist. I got the backlist and the back, somebody said, what is a backlist? A backlist is a, a, is a list of products that he has not put on the platform yet. Nobody has seen it yet. It's not being sold. It's just, it's just like in the back of the warehouse. You know, you know when the iPhone is about to release the iPhone 15, but they haven't released the iPhone 15 yet because they're waiting for the release date? That's what a backlist is, okay? So he sent me his backlist. Now I have an entire sheet of paper that nobody has seen before. No products. I'm the first person. That's how you become a shark. All right, that's how you become a shark. That's how you become a shark. Start asking the supplies for the backlist. All right, now... There are places, let's, let me go ahead and put y'all on the full scope of game real quick, bro, right? Let me go ahead and put y'all on the full scope of game, right? So let's go to dropship.io, log in. Oh, it's on my computer. I gotta go back into, I'm out of, let me put y'all on the full scope of game real quick. Put y'all on the full scope of game. By the way, y'all, uh, it's the, the podcast room. It's almost done. Podcast room. It's almost done. All right. So, put y'all on the full scope again. Let me log into my other computer real quick.
it's gonna take. I don't use Shop Hunter. I mean, um, you can use Shop Hunter, I guess. I don't use it. Shop Hunter is the same thing, low key. Just keep saying I'm putting in the wrong password. Anyway, I, I mean, I gotta, I gotta figure out what my password is. What you do is you come here. Actually, let me go to Amazon Scout instead. AMZ. Let Scout. Let me go to Amazon Scout instead. Let's go to Amazon Scout. Y'all know I do not save the lives. Alright, so... My bad it took so long. I was setting up. My account is not set up on this... On this um, so I had to literally just make a whole account. But what you can do here is you can come to this website right here. It's called AMZ Scout. And it will literally give you the rank of the product. And it will also tell you. And it will also tell you how much the product is doing in revenue. So let's go here. Let's see how much the product is doing in revenue. Revenue. Evan, wait, no. Uh, that's a month. Let's just click on this iPhone. No. Back here. Bro, this is really irritating me. Getting highly irritated. Just took me here for what? Anyway, it's called Amazon Scout. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep trying to like navigate with one hand. It basically tells you how much a product is doing per month. It'll tell you how much revenue, how much estimated revenue is doing per month. It's the same thing as dropship.io and Shop Hunter. Basically, you want, it's competitor, it's competitor scouting, right? So if you wanna see how much your competitor is doing per month, those are the apps that you can use. I'll post, I'll post them on my story a little bit later, but it's, it's, it's irritating me. I'm not going to keep. MVScout.com, let me see. <clears throat> yeah, budget. On to the next. All right. 